Greetings, I'm Craig Smizer. On this road trip episode of Discover Austin, we're going to explore Enchanted Rock State Park. Enchanted Rock is a massive dome of pink granite rising out of the Texas Hill Country. It's best known for hiking, but I want you to know that there's a lot more to do out here. While Enchanted Rock is the main rock, there are several others here, including Little Rock, Freshman Mountain, and Buzzard's Roost. There are almost 11 miles of hiking trails at Enchanted Rock. Several trails go around the rock formations, and several go over them, including the Enchanted Rock Summit Trail, which leads to the top. Enchanted Rock rises 425 feet above the base elevation and 1,825 feet above sea level. The dome covers 640 acres, and climbing to the top is the equivalent of climbing stairs in a 40-story building. The name Enchanted Rock comes from the belief by the Tonkawa Indians that the rock was enchanted. Scientists now believe it's because of the creaks and groans that come from the rock as the temperatures change. Further, what the Tonkawas referred to as ghost fires were likely just glittering of the rock that occurs every once in a while on very clear nights after a rain. There are a host of legends and myths about the rock that you can find on the Enchanted Rock website. Now safety is a big issue at Enchanted Rock, especially if you plan to hike during the summer months. The temperature on the rock itself gets extremely hot. In fact, when the air temp reaches about 100 degrees, the temperature on the granite is over 130 degrees. While the park does not close during high temperatures, the rangers highly recommend that you hike in the morning and stay off the rock during the afternoon. Regardless of the time of day, be sure to bring along plenty of water and sunscreen. And while the elevated trails don't close for heat, they do close for rain because it can be slippery and hazardous, so be sure to look at the website or social media feeds to get the conditions before you head out to the park. And of course, Always use the buddy system and don't hike alone. Looks like I've reached the top. Or not. So presuming you hike to the top of Enchanted Rock when it isn't wet or scorching hot, you'll be rewarded with a gorgeous view of the surrounding Texas hill country. Beyond hiking, camping is available with several walk-in and primitive campsites in the park. Now, I'm not a rock climber, but climbing and rappelling is permitted. The climbs rate between a 5.0 and a 5.11 on the Yosemite Decimal System. Now, to be honest, I don't really know what that means, as up until now, Dewey was the only decimal system that I knew. There is an abundance of animals, including deer, squirrels, armadillos, butterflies, a big variety of birds, and many more. stargazing at Enchanted Rock is spectacular. It's been designated an International Dark Sky Park, and it's dark enough that you can see the Milky Way. They occasionally host cleverly named Rock Star Parties in which you spend a few hours at night on a guided tour. We're not kidding when we say that the stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. I invite you to visit Enchanted Rock for hiking, camping, bird watching, rock climbing, and many other activities. I'm Craig Smizer. Thanks for joining me for this road trip edition of Discover Austin. <music>